Uh, welcome to this week's lecture. So this is our last lecture of our first section. So our first section focuses on the basic date types and also date containers. So today we are um, talking. We are talk about the dictionary and also tuple. So those are the two, the last two types of the date containers. So we already mentioned string. And we also we also mentioned the integer and also float. And also in our uh, uh, lecture, we also mentioned in our previous lecture, we also mentioned the variable, so which is the label of the values. Uh, last week, we talked about the list, so which is an ordered um, values in a collection of ordered um, values. We also mentioned the set. Okay, which uh, are is a collection of unique uh, values. So today we will talk about tuple, and also we also will talk about dictionary. So dictionary is also another type of data container that has been used a lot in Python. So those are the key value pairs. All right, so let's look at tuple. So tuple is a sequence of values which is a very like uh, list, but the difference is that the items in the tuple cannot be changed. So once a tuple has been defined, you cannot change the items in that tuple. So that is immutable. So to create a tuple, we actually use comma, or we can use this built-in function, so that is the tuple uh, parentheses. And as a convention, we put a tuple into a pair of the uh, parentheses. So remember that what really define a tuple is either this uh, comma or this tuple function is not the parentheses. So parentheses is just as a convention that we put tuple uh, within a parentheses, which also means that one value with uh, within a parenthesis is not a tuple. OK, so how does a tuple look like? So for example, if we have two values, one and two, this is a tuple because we already have this comma. But as a convention, we put that one into this uh, parenthesis. And if you have a value like this, OK, so this is a tuple. This is not a tuple, OK? because this one does not have a comma. So it's only just inside of this parenthesis. So this is not a tuple. But if you put just one comma and also number one within this parenthesis, that is a tuple. OK, so that is that is a little bit interesting here. Uh, most list operators also work on tuples. So you can use index or you can also slice um, uh, the tuple. The reason that we want to use tuple, so in most cases, we use tuple as a conven convenient way to return values uh, from functions. So we will talk about functions later in this semester. Um, basically, function a function is just a sequence, a piece of Python code that can uh, allow you to do the task uh, repeatedly. Okay. Um, and uh, normally, the function will return a result, and we put that result uh, into a tuple. So we, we return the result of the function into a tuple so that the values will not be changed, cannot be changed. All right. So let's look at uh, some examples uh, in Python. So again, let's go to our uh, cloud uh, a local repository, and let's make an update and next let's uh, create a new uh, python file so let's call it lecture 4.py and so you can give it a uh, comments so regional comments so tell that this is lecture 4 uh, for dictionary and tuple all right so let's first let's define a tuple so let's say my tuple equals let's say we have value a comma value b comma 
string C, comma, string D, comma, and now string E. Okay. So remember that to define the tuple, we just need those uh, comma. So now if we print my tuple, so here we can see a couple. So you can see in the output, so Python put that into a parentheses. Okay, because as a convention, so either the programmers and also Python, even Python, they put the tuple into this parentheses. Um, so let's define an, another tuple. So my second tuple equals. Uh, so this, uh, this time we just put that one into a parentheses. Still, let's say print my second tuple. You can say they are exactly the same. Okay, uh, so that is because uh, with or without parentheses, actually Python will always understand that is a tuple because uh, what Python really looking at is the comma. So what if let's say we define not a tuple? So we define variable which equals like this. Okay, so can you guess what is a data type? So it is not tuple because this one does not have a comma. So let's let's say what is a type. So if you remember that to check a type of the variable or to check the type of the data, we use the type function. And within this type function, we just put this variable, which refers to this data. And you can see actually it is a string. OK, so it is a string. So what if we just now put a comma here? OK, so now if we put a comma here, so let's let's start another one. So is a tuple. So that is this time we just put a comma here. And let's print the type. OK, so uh, so in this case, we define a variable which uh, is a couple. OK, we just call name is a couple and also it has a comma. And now if we run it, we can see this the type is tuple. OK, so this example hopefully can make it clear that so what real really de uh, decides that a tuple is declare a tuple is this those commas okay so now to the parentheses however parentheses is just a convention that we put all those values into a uh, of the tuple into the parentheses so just as a convention all right and so now let's try the index on the tuple so you remember that uh, index starts from zero if you if you want from the left towards the right so if you go to this tuple so index of a is zero index b is one and also index uh, of c is two okay so let's say print my tuple and to cause index say we see index one so that will give us b Right. OK, so that will give us B. Uh, we can also try the slice. So for example, we want all the items from the second index before uh, the fourth index. So remember that this index 0, 1, 2, 3. OK, so this is a fourth item. The index is 3. So it will return uh, those two values in the tuple, okay? Because that is index is one, index two, and index three will not be returned. The value of index three will not be returned. So now if we run it, okay, so we have B and C. And similarly, so if we put like this, so it will return all the values starting from the index one. So it will return all the values starting from index one. So now if we run it, we can see we have B, C, D, E. Okay. And similarly, so if we just keep the 
as a number on the right. So it will return all the values until index three. Okay, so index three is this one. So everything that before index three. So that will be A, B, and C. So now if we run it, okay, so that will be A, B, C. And if we put nothing in this, uh, within this uh, square brackets, we just leave com colon. Okay, so that will return all entire stuff, the so entire couple. All right, so we have all the items in this tuple. 